Welcome everybody to the pocket pipe calculator tutorial. Uh, today we're going to cover the back to back fitting with a 90 degree and an odd angle. And this is the screen that uses the slider. Uh, today we're going to cover the settings tab. And I just wanted to give you guys a brief run through on the layout. On the top you'll see um, you have imperial and metric and your input values for pipe OD, the radius of the first fitting, the radius of the odd angle fitting. You have a value A, which is your total offset, and then you can set a root gap if you, if you prefer to have one. There's a clear data, there's a set data button. Uh, after you enter your values, you need to hit the set data button in order to activate the slider. You'll notice there's an angle, which will show you uh, the angle of the odd angle fitting that's required. Uh, your stub piece should be zero during your calculation. Uh, there's an output put for run, set, and travel as well. Uh, I've also have some safeguards in here if you don't enter the data correctly. Um, uh, right now with nothing entered, if you hit set data, it'll tell you to enter the pipe OD. Uh, the reason for the pipe OD is to give you your values for a uh, custom fitting. If you hit set data, it'll tell you to set the radius for fitting one. Uh, long radius 10 inches, 15 inches, so we'll set that. We'll set value A. I'm going to set this at 31 just to show you. Um, in order to do back to back fittings, your offset cannot be greater than two uh, 90 degree fittings plus your root gap. Uh, I'll enter the root gap of 1 8th. And if I hit set data, it says value A must be equal to or less than 30 and 1 8th. That is the uh, that is the total of based on a radius of uh, 15 inches. That's the total of 290s plus your root gap. If if you wanted to set the radius for the odd angle fitting to be different than the 90, you can enter in a custom value of 30, and that would be a 3R fitting. You hit set data, and it'll say data has been set. Move the slider to find your angle. Now. We'll start moving the slider here and you notice your angles are changing and your stub piece is changing. You want to slide that until your stub piece equals zero. And you can fine tune that if you want to. And you just keep going down. Uh, you can get as close to zero as you want and then just use the plus and minus keys to get it set to exactly zero. And there you have it to be as precise as possible. It's 64.95 degrees. Um, your run is 31, your set is 14 and a half, and your travel is 34 and 3 sixteenths. This is basically your, uh, your offset here. You've got your run, your set, and your travel. That's the run through of that screen. There's some help sections at the bottom. Uh, if you have any questions, you just click one of the buttons and it'll give you a description of what, uh, what the different things are in the screen. Uh, you can also check us out on Facebook, and uh, you can also email me directly if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye.